Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with One Spawn and Game, and today we're going to do a unbagging of Dead Reckoning by Tiny Battle Publishing. It's a zombie war game by Herman Lutman, uh, one of our favorite uh, uh, solo-friendly designers. Uh, this is actually a two-player game that is playable solo. Uh, uh, find out what's inside here. Don't know too much about it. Um, Denver was gone. Denny Springs was next. Is the the subtitle there. It's card driven. Um, so I'm wondering if it's a little like some of the other games that have come out lately from Mark Walker's different companies. Let's open it up so we can get inside here. First off the rule book with ads. Uh, full color. Looking at about 12, let's see if we started one there, so it's 12, 13, 16 pages. Uh, there's obviously a chaos results table, so that will add some, some variability to it. It says we're going to get a map, 88, 5 8 inch counters, two player aids, rule book, chaos table, zero dice. There are no dice in this game. Interesting. 54 cards, 18 initial cards, 36 combat results cards. So we will see what's going on here. The rule book itself is pretty standard fare, full color. Got some graphics. Some highlighted sections with different colors. Looks like optional rules. We're in pink, different notes, and tan. Kind of a glossy, uh, glossy stock, shiny. Need some breathing there. So here's your player aid cards for zombies and humans. So if you're playing a zombie, I guess you would use the zombie side. Um, but if you're playing with a human who's playing a zombie, I guess they'll use the zombie side as well. Got our map. Some of the problems with the tiny battle games has been that the maps have been too small or the hexes themselves have been too small. This one looks about the, their standard size, uh, 11 by 17. So it's essentially, I don't know why they folded this in fourths. And they could have just, well, I guess it's a little bigger. It says 11 by 17, but it's actually a little bit larger than that. Um, they eight and a half by 11. Is that it's actually more like a 12 by 17. So I guess that's why they folded it then. But, uh, so obviously, gonna need some plexi. Um, nice artwork on it though. And the Who's in First Forest. I don't know. Who's on first? So the Costello Research Center. Got Abbott in here. There's Lou. Very funny. Nope, oh, Abbott Hotel. Somebody's being cute, besides me. All right, so here's our counters. Uh, and they are just falling right out of the, uh, right out of the sprue here. So they are serviceably, th serviceably thick. They seem maybe a little thicker than the previous uh, tiny battle games I've played. Um, definitely, definitely fine. Uh, a little miscut, uh, but it doesn't look like in this case it's dangerously so. Um, others here seem to be, we got a little light on here. The others here seem to be pretty decent. I guess some of those just got a little, a little eager there with a cutter. That's off the bottom of those letters, so hopefully that's not going to matter too terribly much. It is what it is, right? And then we've got a deck of cards. Knife here. Dig into them. And apparently you've got a human combat deck. So may assume by rights there's going to be a zombie combat deck as well. Plastic. All right. Crinkly, staticky plastic. Ugh. All right. 
So yes, we have com human combat, zombie combat, and oh look, they're not sorted. Ah, they're not collated. So we will collate them here. We've got initiative cards, zombie initiative cards, more human initiative cards, more zombie initiative cards. So, it's the OCD in me coming out there. All right, so let's take a look at them here. Uh, these are the uh, combat resolution cards for humans. They're doing an attack, defense, close combat attack. So I'm assuming, like a lot of games here, you're going to draw. Uh, I guess if you get a chaos, you'll probably look something up on that chaos table. Um, so similar to Night of Man, which is uh, Herman Walker. Not Herman Walker. Mark Walker um, from uh, Flying Pig, but it's still Mark Walker. Um, design, so it's using the cards for different purposes. Um, to resolve the combat, so it's interesting to see if it comes out and it plays out similar. So there's the human combat cards, zombie combat cards have lovely faces on them, and the same general thing: fire combat, defense, close combat attack, close combat defense, and then they have chaos as well. So the chaos cards obviously are going to produce some uh, random events. Perhaps, and then initiative cards. Uh, I believe on the initiative you bid, I think I read in the rules, you bid with the initiative card and that determines how many, whoever the highest is the one gets to go or something like that, and that's how many uh, action points or uh, impulse points you get for the turn. So there's a set for the human and a set for the zombies. Artwork's actually kind of cool. It's kind of a watercolor. Uh, Watercolor effect. You know, I'm not big into zombie games, and these are pretty gruesome. Oh, help me, help me, help me. The soldiers look pretty cool. Actually, I really like that artwork. Let's see if we can find who did that. And the credits. Game graphics by Tim Allen. Wow. Nothing special about the cards. So that must be Tim Allen. He does a lot of stuff for victory game, victory point games that... Uh, and a lot of Herman Lutman stuff that always looks really nice. That's a seems a definitely a distinctive uh, or a uh, deviation from his norm. Those are pretty cool. So anyway, if you're looking at Dead Reckoning by Tiny Battle Games, that's what you're going to get in the bag because it's not in the box. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.